Even if the title makes the place I'm coming from abundantly clear, I figure I'm going to reiterate that I have not experienced any type of Five Nights at Freddy's media. I don't know anything about it. All I know is memes and that Freddy Fazbear is a guy. I didn't even know the names of the other guys until watching the movie, but now that you know where I'm at, I have a question. Was the FNAF movie meant to be scary? My vague understanding of FNAF is that it is a jump scare game, like the whole meme is Freddy Fazbear jump scare, but the movie never scared me, which genuinely surprised me. Of the few attempts at jump scares, they didn't do anything for me. I wasn't even scared, I was just like, why is this guy here? And as I learned, it's a reference to a future game apparently, but that's going to go over my head. The only thing that vaguely surprised me was the map pack cameo, which was just wild. I honestly wanted more jump scares because that's how I understand FNAF, is it's this horror franchise that has a lot of jump scares. And there weren't any, so I was like, was this a horror movie or not? I can understand the PG-13 rating via hindrance, but Megan released earlier this year and apparently did it well enough. And I kind of went into FNAF with the intention of being scared, and when I wasn't, I was confused. This doesn't inherently ruin the movie for me. I mainly went to see it because of the animatronics being Jim Henson puppets, which I think is a really cool thing. But it doesn't help when the movie doesn't have much else going for it beyond things that the fans would like, but I don't know anything about. I'm not really seeing the FNAF movie to see a guy deal with his trauma, I'm here to see the big animatronics jump scare and hurt people. But I also just can't get invested with a guy who has a Visit Nebraska poster. I'm sorry man, nobody is visiting Nebraska, there's nothing to do there. Which tracks with him because he's kind of just a nothing guy, but not really in an offensive way. He exists and doesn't actively hamper my enjoyment, but there's nothing to really get invested in. He's just a symptom of my overall feelings on the FNAF movie which is that it's fine. I don't mean fine in a derogatory way, but I also don't mean it in an overly positive way. It's almost two hours of my life that sure happened, and that's all I can really say about it. It wasn't actively offensive, but it wasn't actively engaging me. And I think had I watched it in a theater with other people, I probably would have liked it a lot less than when I watched it sitting in an empty theater where I'm just riffing off the entire thing. I did really like the animatronics, and there was a singular moment where I got vaguely uncomfortable, but that was mainly because it was just a jigsaw trap, and I don't do well with torture horror of any kind. But that also did lead me to the question of how they got that into a PG-13 movie, which genuinely intrigued me, and I would love to know the conversations on how that happened. But on the whole, it was a fine movie. A solid 2.5 out of 5, nice even down the road. There's nothing offensively terrible or great, it was just aggressively okay.